Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. This is the second video in a model answer series based around the Jade case study, that is Unit 1, Case Study 2. The question we're going to look at in this video is compare whether developing a savings pot or borrowing money would be more beneficial to Jade in being able to afford to extend her work trips. A question such as this may be worth 5 marks. So how could we answer it? Jade can earn interest if she chooses to put money into a savings pot. This will increase her unearned income each month, which can then make it easier to meet her expenditure commitments, such as the cost of her London Underground tickets to travel to work. Because she is a basic rate taxpayer, the personal savings allowance means Jade can earn up to £1,000 in interest tax-free each year. On top of savings interest, Jade may also be able to earn a 25% government bonus if she chooses to put her money into a lifetime ISA savings pot. This could add a substantial amount to Jade's £32,000 plus bonuses income each year. However, although the government bonus is attractive, saving into a lifetime ISA may not be a suitable method of providing Jade with an option to pay for work trip extensions, as she would be heavily penalised for making withdrawals. Money saved within lifetime ISAs can only be withdrawn without penalty to pay for your first home or towards retirement. On the other hand, it's important to consider that if Jade puts money into a savings pot, this would not help in building her credit score. Jade is currently 23 and may be looking to borrow money to buy a home of her own over the next decade. She currently rents a flat with friends. Therefore, if she was to build up a track record of making repayments on borrowing, Jade could enhance her credit rating, which takes time to build thereby supporting her application for credit when the time to purchase her first property arises. That said, the significance of this point could be said to be limited, as Jade only has minimal savings at present and currently lives in Greater London, which is a notoriously expensive place to purchase property. Therefore, she may not be looking to purchase a property of her own for some time. Jade is at the young adult stage of her life cycle, and therefore having an easily accessible savings pot means that she will not have to miss out on social and travel experiences. The opportunity to make the most of these chances is likely to be greatest whilst she is young and has no dependents. We can assume that Jade's social life is quite full as she lives with two friends and has chosen to live around London. Therefore, having a savings pot ensures Jade does not have to live with the concern of borrowing money and potentially not being able to pay it back quickly and therefore being charged interest. Although the likelihood of this is minimal as Jade has £500 of income at her disposal after all mandatory essential and discretionary expenditure has been accounted for. However, the level of income Jade has at her disposal is significant and therefore suggests that borrowing would be eminently accessible to her and that she would have no concern in making the repayments. Therefore, leaving money in a savings account accruing moderate interest may actually present an opportunity cost. An alternative option is for Jay to borrow any money she needs and to instead put these funds into an investment vehicle that could generate a return for her. Being at the young adult stage of the life cycle, Jade may choose to put this money into more risky investments, such as cryptocurrency for example, which has the potential to significantly improve her financial position. Nevertheless, it is important for Jade to remember that investments of this type can go up as well as down in value. Another thing that makes creating a savings pot attractive and relatively low risk is the possibility that if Jade borrows money and fails to make the requisite repayments to the lender, this could damage her credit score. This would be particularly detrimental if she wanted to borrow money in the future to buy a property, for example. That said, the likelihood of this occurring is low, as Jade has always maintained and been in control of her budget. 
She has also not included possible bonuses in her budget calculations, which suggests she may even have more money at her disposal each month to make the repayments. The significance of this point is also limited, as Jade does her banking through her bank's banking app, which means that she is able to check her account regularly to ensure that she does not miss any repayments. On the other hand, if Jade chose to borrow money rather than to save it, she may be able to borrow funds relatively cheaply, as lenders compete to attract borrowers. This could mean that the opportunity cost of borrowing as opposed to saving money is reduced. Jade also has £500 at her disposal each month after she has paid her mandatory, essential and discretionary expenditure. This suggests that she is in a good position to be able to repay any borrowing and that it would not present too much challenge to her cash flow each month. However, it is important to note that this is dependent on the borrowing method she chooses, as well as the associated interest rate. The Bank of England base rate is currently 5.25%, which is the highest it has been for over a decade. If Jade has not built a good credit history, she only has her student loan to repay, this could mean that any money she chooses to borrow may come with high associated interest or repayment costs. Thanks ever so much for watching the video. This is the second video in the series of Model Answer videos, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to be notified when the next video is released.